well, I don't know what he was doing. I was gonna start filming and he goes, I'm not making it messy. I'm making it so it's not messy. And I was like, this is, that's the project trove. Anyways, we will film an intro after this. Welcome back guys. It's another vlog like craft DIY, our favorite because we're not professional DIYers. And I've uh, recruited Love to help me with this one because uh, to no one's surprise. We got hit with the, uh, the overwhelming anxiety of me trying to do a million projects and feeling like I'm getting none done. So in order to get it done, Lev has so lovingly told me he loves me lobster. Me we watched, lobster. we watched the, <laughs> we watched, <laughs> we watched the lighthouse. Um, uh, so now I can't stop quoting it. Uh, so anyways, guys, if you're not familiar, this is Love. This is my emotional support human, my partner, uh, my small king, whatever title you'd like to give him. And today, we what? You are a small king. You need to change out of uh, my shirt, comrade. Oh, yeah. Um, you, your, your, your high visibility orange shirt is right there. Um, oh my goodness. See, this is so much different than when I'm working by myself. Today... We lost the tripod. Where's the tripod? Uh, today we are working on making cottagecore witch hats. All right. So what we're gonna start off with is these two. Okay, I gotta like slowly. My back is killing me. I'm gonna. We bought we. This is actually we. It's not just the royal we. I bought two of these large wicker hats. Right. I wasn't with you when you bought those. Look at how cute this is gonna be. So right now, so one obviously these are from Michaels. Uh, along with my floral. So if you watched my moon wreath tutorial, then you'll know I had a like I had a theme for the floral. I have all the same floral for this. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this hat, and then we're gonna take. Can you hear me? The second one. It's right out of reach. My back hurts. I don't want to move. We're gonna take this one, and we're gonna make it into a witchy pointy hat. Therefore, we get a cottage core witch hat, right? But then we're gonna. I'm gonna be extra, and we're gonna. Gosh, you can see this, this light's strobing. Um, we're gonna stain it black because we want it to be a little bit more dark cottage core, and then I'm gonna decorate it with a bunch of florals and then get a big old ribbon and like uh, that scene in Gone with the Wind, tie a giant bow under my hat. I know that's a very dated movie, but I just, that image stays in my head because I watched it as a child. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Why are you bouncing? We haven't even started yet. Okay, so. With that being said, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. You subscribe and you hang out with us while we work on this project because you're going to get, you won't get the audio of me telling Lev he's doing it wrong. Did you just pull out a tech deck? No. Oh, you get an eyeball. Oh, that's what that is. Um, all right. Let's set up the tripod and let's get going. So first thing first is we're going to set up a cone. Okay. Like a cone on here. What is a cone? What does a witch hat look like? Um... Uh, we're gonna make it pointy? Yeah. And I have to make it so that the, um, we have to start from the bottom and go up, I think. So we have to start from this point on the, the hat that I'm wearing and go up because of the way that the, um, the straw is laid on the hat. Okay? Okay. All right. Can you go find cardboard? Where is my nice tech deck? You oh, had it. Here. What? Is it not? Uh, I thought you had it. No. All right. We'll find your tech deck after. I don't know why you put this in here. What do you need? Can you try and remember? Guys, we have approximately one and a half brain cell functioning for the two people. And I'm the one with the one and a half brain cell right now. This one's got some uglies on it, so we're gonna pull this one apart. Uh, I need to get scissors. Move the bags. Ryden's under there plugging in my hot glue gun because I don't want to bend over because my back hurts. Also, the door just opened. Open Lenore. <laughs> That. Close Lenore.
I'm glad I went with the right wine brim. He like didn't. <laughs> no, it's plugged in. He just didn't move the bags. You hold that. I will burn you. No, no, not the I other one. I want to do the glue. I'm better at it. <laughs> My project. Do a little bit of it. You need a lot more. Give me a second, okay? Because that's the spot that's. Just put that down. Oh my God. Now the now the entire internet needs to know that we bicker over our projects. Do more closer to the sweetheart. Edge. I can't because you're bending it. Can you let me glue? No, you're not lining it even. Yeah, you're better at lining it. Let me glue because I can squirt the glue out even more. Fine, you can have the glue. Literally. Fine, you. <laughs> Fine. Let it dry before you keep going. Really? Wait, it's not stuck. There's no glue right there. I know there's not. I'm holding it. I didn't even get the straw wet, so it's not very pliable either. Okay. Okay, stick the next part. Dip right to there. Can you stop? It's not let it cool. I feel like this is thinner. Like this straw in itself is thinner than this straw. No, it's the same. I don't know why you brought these things for this. So I was just going over what floral I have because it's literally been in a bag for two months, a month, I don't know at this point. And it's all black, so I don't think I'm gonna try and stain this black. I think it will just, I'll lose all detail of it and like, whatever. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. Oh, plus there's more floral over here. I thought I had something red. Do I not have a, oh wait, is this, this is kind of red, this sparkly flower. I don't know, I thought there was a red tone. Hmm. I have to go through all the bags cause there's definitely, I feel like there was more. The baby. So it's all black, I guess. I don't know, babe. Oh, you're such a cutie. Do you think we should stain the hat or just leave it wicker? I think you should stain the hat. Think I should stain it black? Yeah. 
I don't think I have enough color contrast to put into it. I don't know. Yeah. What are you stealing? Kitten? Kitten? Which kitten are you? It's Sookie. It's Sookie Stack House. What you doing, Sooks? Is it rat or is it not rat? It's not rat. Not rat. It's Sookie Stack House. Yeah, are you chirping? You gonna make your special noise for the camera? I can't. I've got the tripod out. Nope, that's my hair. They eat your hair. You going You're stuck in my sweater. You like that one? Is that a good one? Okay. Those are the florals that I cried about when I called you. Those are, that was, ah! Cut. It did, it burned it really badly. That's what you know? I told you. You don't want to use this for that, apparently. So that's what I cried about in the last video. And that was your solution for it. That is the, that was the exact thing. See, they're impossible to cut. I wasn't making it up. See? See? See what happened? Sir, there was a war crime committed. You left something on in the other room. What? The big light. <laughs> we don't leave the big light on. If you know, you know. We don't leave the big light. This is, this is chaos. And the cat in it is just even worse. What happens when two people who are project leaders try and do a project at the same time, the one who has physical ailments, uh, me, loses and has to back down? We cannot both hot glue this hat at the same time and because the, uh, the glue gun hurts my hands, Lev has decided to so lovingly hot glue the rest, the entirety, you, you growl at me, the entirety of the hat. Hey, She's no eating the hat! No! No, no help! <laughs> no help! She's Lev, she helped, Daddy. Lev helping. She helping. Help she helping. You're helpful. No helping. Where's your Pookie? That's that's the tripod. Where's Pookie? Go find Pookie. Let's that's that's still not why 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 you eat that why you eat that because oh what the heck you need to show the camera what you just told hey, me so while I try and fix the tip here <laughs> you discovered something that I realized I that we started with the Whatever this is, upside you're, down. You're not posting it. You're you're out of shot. Yeah, you're so there. if we would have started spinning it in the, the same, same direction, direction that, that it was hat, on the hat, like yeah, this, was oriented. It would have gone a lot smoother, as to where we must have started spinning the this opposite way, direction, and then trying to force it to get smaller as we went up. It still came out great. Like don't it did. get me wrong. Yeah. It was just the, the, the point the, the, was the, the, really yeah, hard is... to get it to go into the point. But it, it actually turned out pretty good. I'm not I'm not disappointed in it. I'm not yeah. mad. You did a better job than I probably could have done. Because you decided it this was your job. Looks like it's pretty It's a little wonky. Yeah. But it's still it it's organic. Like it's, yeah. Let's It's I witchy. Like it. You like it? It's witchy. Well hold on. Let's it start. is witchy. What does it look like? A witch hat. Looks good. <laughs> Oh, you you can't put that point that part in the front because it's where it started. So Turn it. it this way. No, it it's because the these that are the way, yeah. on the side, so it has to go that way. That's good. Since Perfect. It's a little bit wonky. It actually looks like a witch hat. Should we? It does. Test staining that strip. A little bit of that strip. Yeah. Um, oh, my before. filming is so bad with this tripod because it keeps like bumping my legs and making you it shake. You could take it off of the tripod. You.
I don't know. Yeah. It's gonna look like weathered. Mm. I don't know. Cause it's not like black, black. Don't put any more on. You're making it a lot longer. Or I said not to do that much. I'm afraid of the hot glue spots. I, th I don't think the hot glue spots are going to be a problem. If anything, I'll touch them up with a black marker. How long does it take uh, stain to dry? Um, I would let it dry overnight, but I don't think it takes that long. It dries in one hour. Can you make it faster? So you want to give that an hour and wait and see? I guess we'll give that an hour. And wait and see. Is that sealed all the way? No. Now it is. I don't know. I think it's going to be cool. So, you know, I will have layers on layers on. I can't see what's going on up there right now on layers. Yeah, I mean, that just looks kind of. I know. Random, I'm just stacking just it. Just so on you can see. The contrast. I guess I could put it down. I could walk and look in the mirror. I would say don't stain it. Don't stain it? Yeah. Because I have a big ribbon that's black and white yeah I would not stain it because the stain is gonna smell too it might make you sick it's not I mean, like it's already making me nauseous sitting here and the smell's not gonna completely go away if it's like saturated just in there go away. it just doesn't just go away what Nicholas Cage movie is that we still haven't figured out what movie that quote is from I know you figured it out no oh I mean I know we haven't figured it out all right I'm gonna look in the mirror you can turn that off the verdict on these sticks is that that little fuzzy one is the only one that's giving me a hard time. Everything else is cutting fine. Um, I guess we're just going to build much like uh, the, what did we do? Um, the wreath. I'm just going to add layers on layers. Right now I'm adding a base layer of this black nettle. And then you can see that this like black eucalyptus has glitter on it. So it's catching the light really nice, which will add more depth to the project. We cut this rose off. We're going to put roses on it. Um, I have to put find where the sides are. Which one's the front? Uh, this is the front. So we'll probably, maybe we'll put that right there. We're just going to start building and layering. Right now I'm waiting for the hot glue gun to warm back up. Obviously, you don't have to use Halloween florals for this. This is just what I'm doing because I have a theme going on. I have a whole project. You could do this with anything. I'm sitting here thinking how cute this would be is instead of like nettles using like holly and making like a really like a, um, a Yuletide witch hat with the wicker and it would just be so friggin' cute. Um, I probably should start putting this out to beef it on, uh, but I'm probably gonna use this to hide seams. <laughs>
finished it. I can't get it far enough. Oh, <laughs> All right, we'll have to take finished photos at Haunted Overload. Hopefully this video doesn't have to go up before then. <laughs> I love it. Look at the bow. It's so cute. I'm glad I had all this like nipple color ribbon. It turned out so cute. Oh my God, this like you did. You built this real strong. I added. Where is he? Where's Bug? Oh, he's over here. Is he? I don't know if I have the camera on him or not. I can't see. Can you? Can you come over here and make sure I'm showing off Bug Friend? Because I don't think I'm efficient. I don't know. That's why I told you to let me glue. Well, can you? You, you didn't glue your fingers. Can you show off where Bug Friend is? Oh, I can't I see him. The screen. Yeah, tilt the screen. Right there. Yeah. Ooh, it's a nice color. Yeah. Isn't it nice? I'm mm -hmm. so happy. Let me do one of these. Wee! Slow turn. I can hardly get the whole point. It's so I know, tall. It's so tall, but it's portionate too. The too. the point actually lined up very, very portionately to the hat. Okay, so that's the thing. If you have a smaller brim, I mean, you could make it smaller depending on how big your cone is. But we really wanted it to. Um, well, the bigger match. the brim, the bigger the cone. Not necessarily. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, you could have gotten two smaller hats, but if you wanted a smaller hat with a smaller brim. You can make a smaller cone. It doesn't have to be this size. You can make it whatever. The cone yeah. underneath is what really you're going to ma match. Lev and I just did the basic math that we wanted the circumference to blend. Oh, here it is. With the top of this. So it was more of a seamless thing. If you made a different like um, angle for the, tri for the cone, uh, it ne wouldn't necessarily blend as much. Yeah. I mean, the size that we made the cone was like the perfect size to line up with the hat that's like, exactly right what i said here right here so. yeah well we that's where we were just to try yeah. and transition the uh winding of it but now we have like this little hat too i am so happy Wait this is such a good hat. don't you want to wear the little hat this will be my hat that's your hat ryan already claimed that hat <laughs> all right Bye. guys that's the end of this project um if we get b-roll we'll put in b-roll i hope that I've inspired you to create your own cottage core witch hat. Obviously, you could do whatever theme. You guys know that there's clearly a theme with my colors. Can you not eat while I'm in the background Bye. while I'm trying to do this? I just realized that the color tone was completely off. The white balance was off in those shots. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, it was because I can. You didn't check the little scale at the bottom. It doesn't matter. Um. Anyways. If you guys create something, make sure you tag me. Uh, you can tag me on Instagram as penny underscore moons, or you could just send me a link and a comment down below to anything, and I will check it out. I really want to see if you guys try and make this. Um, I just hope I inspired you guys in some way to make your own witch hat. Like, obviously, you could add less. You didn't even have to add any. I, it looked really cute without adding anything to yeah. it. Just adding the ribbon underneath. Super cute. With that being said... Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, you subscribe, you come back and hang out with us and see what kind of crafty adventures we go on together. I love you all. See you next time. Bye-bye.